All right, guys. So I'm here at Pondview Park. Remember how there's a ton of dinks in the last video? Check this out. That's probably about a two-pound largemouth. I got him sitting dead on the bottom. I uh, got him sitting dead on the bottom with a night crawler. That's a hog. I'll get some pictures and I'll get right back to you guys with the relief. All right, guys. Got him unhooked. Here he is again. Probably about a two-pound one. Yeah, that's a pretty nice bass. Push it for Pondview Park, which you catch all the dinks in. Looks like I got him on a night crawler just sitting dead on the bottom. It's been a pretty hard day to catch these bass. Um, the water, they put the blue stuff in there so, it's, so it gets some weeds out of there. Revive them. Oh, he's ready. Alright, so hopefully we'll get some more fish and get back to that. Alright, guys, Pondview Park. Uh, I told you we were going to hook up in some fish. And we should up in about a one pounder. Um, he's probably a one. I mean, he's probably a good one pounder. He's got a pretty good mouth on him. He was following my buzz bait right through them weed fields. So I'm fishing one on the bottom and I'm fishing a buzz bait. So two conversing, uh, two controversial methods, but that's a pretty good fish for Pondy Park right there. I mean, he followed it all the way through them fields and I saw him wham it. It's a good, good fish right when it's getting dark. So we'll get a picture and we'll get back to you. Hey guys, back at Palmview Park. This is the this is the day after um, last time. After I got a pretty sure I got a pretty nice one yesterday. That's a pretty good bass. He's pretty fat for his pond. That's not even a one pounder. I mean, he's probably not even one. Um, the water's really really clear, so I'm just fishing for bluegill, and I guess this bass was in the area. Just look at the colors on that thing. Yeah, right, I'll get a picture. Alright guys, just got another really small bass. I mean, look at the colors on that though. Doesn't that thing look beautiful? Some good colors. Now these bass are pretty competitive today. I'm catching them dead on bottom. There's a little hole right here. What you gotta do in these ponds? You gotta find the little holes. So we'll get a picture of this beautiful fish. And I'll show you the release. It looks really cool in the water. Alright guys, just gonna show you the release. It looks very pretty in the water. There you go. You can see them swim all the way out there. So yeah, hopefully we'll catch another bass in here. Hopefully it'll be a little bit bigger. We'll get back to you guys.